<laughs> we like coming to the backyard to play. Thank you. Thank you. This is where decisions that are made that affect your lives every single day. And this is not about self-interest. This is about the people's interest, your interest. This is the message he wants to take to Washington. I'm telling folks in D.C., they don't know what's about to hit them when Isaac and the crew show up. This is number 39, folks. This is part of our majority right here. This is the new leadership that's emerging around this country. Not only are we proud of it, but we're supporting it. We're lifting it up because they represent a new opportunity. It's a new day in our party, folks. As I tell folks all, all around the country, and Pat tells them too, this is not your mom and your daddy's Republican Party anymore. The leadership that's required is in place. The offices have been opened. We've got, how many how many victory offices we have in the state now? 16, 2.7 million phone calls leading the nation by 500,000. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Chairman. That's the effort. That's the effort. Over two million voters contacted in this state. That's going to translate into real votes on election day. So what we're doing now is the warm up, because the real test, the real activity begins on the third, on the second. I'm tired of Republicans sitting back and thinking the vote's going to come to them. The reason this bus is in this neighborhood, in this backyard, is because it's time for our party to go out on the streets and be in the neighborhoods and communities of America, talking to people face to face, looking them in the eye, and saying, brother, we have the same interests, we have the same concerns, we have the same ideals about what America is. Obama to care for us, therefore we don't want Obama to care. The reality for all of us right now is that this is a transformative moment for our party, yes but most especially for this community and our country. Folks, we the people still mean something. But Barack Obama has forgotten that. Nancy Pelosi has forgotten that. Harry Reid has forgotten that. They think it's us, the government. But you've said for over a year now, it's we the people. We have watched tea parties form around this country for a reason, because government stopped listening. I'm grateful for that energy. I'm thankful for that energy. In fact, that energy has restored in Republicans the sense of our mission and purpose anchored in the Constitution, anchored in individual freedoms and rights. So they want to pick battles. They want to, they want to put one side against the other. We're all in this fight together, folks. Your taxes are going up. I don't care what you call yourself. Your hospital bills aren't going to be paid as easily as they promised, and I don't care where you live. All right. The reality of it is there are burdens being placed on our backs, and we need leadership that's prepared to help lift that burden. Not do it for you. Not run your car companies. Not run your insurance companies or your banks. Not tell you how rich you can be. How many of you want to make just $249,000? <laughs> and then stop <laughs> because if you're on that trajectory what the heck are you going to say that's like shooting up the shuttle and say okay bring it back <laughs> taking a train and running it 10 yards ago that's too far that's not how we do things in america mm -hmm. right. the goal here is for us to continue to move forward to progress and we need leadership in place that understands what that means at the local level the state level the national level that's why you're in this fight. That's why come November 2nd, you're going to change a lot of things in Washington by changing out the bad.